Yes, 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 yes. Welcome back to 108 Dragons TV, baby. It's your host, Lemon23, aka Lemetheus, right hand of Zeus. And I got a lot of news to cover today. And I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna get into this inside Xbox thing real quick. Now, what's crazy about the complaints that I'm seeing out here is that Xbox divulged the exact itinerary that they said that they was going to do. Now, because you was expecting some over the top announcement and your anticipation, y'all attack Phil and Xbox for doing this. This is a monthly show monthly they will not be exposing nothing a few months out of e3 that's going to be major but what they did do is give us insight on a current game that they are supporting which is see if these which has got massive support from the community it was great information the production on the show was amazing and of course if they would have gave us like a crackdown date we'd have been hype or below date we'd have been hype but they didn't. But let's not forget, this is a monthly show. And none of the big three, none of them, have nothing monthly to talk about. The Nintendo Directs are not monthly. Look at the information, people. Take a breath. Fall back. And enjoy the show. Now, you can always complain. But don't take your anticipation and turn it into facts. Some people like to see how the game is developed, what's the idea behind the developers of what they're making, as in Sea of Thieves, which is currently releasing this month. Major AAA title for Microsoft. What you expected them to talk about? And I'm pretty sure the next game in April they're going to be bigging up will be State of Decay, because that's a no-brainer. They're going to sell the next game to you and show you what the next game is about. Facts. Now let's get into some other gaming news. Just wanted to make that point. Been watching the internet lately. Because my birthday was Monday, so I ain't really hop on. But I've been watching. And yeah, some people out here is just fanatical. That's where the words fans come from. Facts. It looks like Shadow of Tomb Raider's release date has been leaked. Directly from Square Enix. Right now, tomorrow, March 15th. 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, they will be releasing some information on the game. Right now, it looks like the game will be coming out September 14th, and it will launch on PS4, PC, and also Xbox One platforms. It won't be no time exclusive this time around. They're trying to get all their money in one shot. This is a good thing. The, the, last, the last two games was incredibly good. Incredibly good. Um... The support they got was crazy, and the content was amazing. So look forward to that. It looked like Tekken 7's roster will be updated March 20th with Noctis. Yes, that acclaimed Final Fantasy character. It looks like we'll be getting five new outfits for Noctis, two background soundtracks, and a new stage. Apocalypse knocked the re remix of the Tekken 7 song. So when he's battling and getting busy, I guess it's going to have some Final Fantasy theme type action going on here. Look forward to that March 20th and it's going to be a great addition to that game that came out. And hopefully they also give a patch for a better online code. They've been struggling with that, but it has improved since launch. Now on to more news. A new update came out yesterday for Ghost Recon Wildlands which introdu introduces classes and maps with a free update the new assignment adds three new classes to the game completing six total classes and originally announced updating players to able to play with trapper gorilla stalker and more these updates will take effect as soon as you download go into these new maps check this out see if you like it and it's also an update for extraction mode for refinery and cliffside and your boy lemon gotta get on his job with this game 
because I have not even scratched the surface to this multiplayer mayhem. You know how I like to give it up. And I will be streaming tonight. Hopefully some Fortnite with one of my one away dragons, Spudnator. We're going to get into that because that boy is a building problem. And we're going to be on Mixer and I will be on Mixer and YouTube. That's what we're going to do. Now into more gaming news. The Sega Mega Drive Collection has been announced. For Xbox One, PC, and PS4. It will be launching May 29th. And from the video I'm showing you here, it looks like they're returning with some serious classics. If you are a nostalgic game player, this is definitely, definitely something to look into because you already know. Them Super NESs and NESs was flying off the shelf and everybody's always interested in playing older games. And for the newer generation game players, this is showing you what Sega started off with and the basis of their greatness. Facts. Also out for Xbox One, PS4 is the Devil Man Cry HD Collection. If you're looking for it, to having all those remasters and I also made a poll on these remasters this here goes another one fellas you know your boy Lemetheus always talk facts but if you want to get into this Devil May Cry HD collection has been remastered and it's re-released go check that out also now this is a subject that I've always said I'm gonna start covering and I'm gonna start this off with the Justice League 4k blu-ray and the quality settings that I see that the game uh excuse me that the dvd has and what's the pros and the cons first of all we all know that movie it was decent a lot of people gave it a hard way to go and they wanted perfection they didn't have the time or the studio power like these marvel movies but for a first justice league movie it was decent the action was definitely okay but let's get into the three things that i'm going to cover the movie the 4k quality the videos, the audio quality, and the extras, and my overall consensus of what I think. Now, this game, oh my lord, this movie has Dolby Atmos, Dolby True HD, Dolby DTS Mastered HD, HDMI Audio 5.1, and other sound effects, but that's in other languages. So now, let's get into the movie itself. The movie itself was a pretty decent movie. They could have did a little bit better with the story. And they could have hit us with some more of a background on these characters. They kind of seemed like they threw them together. Now, that's pretty much how it went. Still support the movie though. The 4K aspect of this movie is completely ama amazing. But, let's just get this out. It is cut from a 2K intermediate yes so it wasn't shot in 4k it was shot in 2k but the conversion into 4k looks amazing the video quality looks amazing now in terms of audio it's definitely top shelf they put a lot of work into it now the category that i'm going to talk about will be the extras and i'm going to say this when you buy a 4k movie all the extras are on the blu-ray disc they are not shot in 4K and they will not be transcoded into 4K and put on the 4K disc. That's just too much work for them. So what they do is they put it on the Blu-ray and let you watch it from there. And the extras in this movie is BS. It's really not good. You know, the outtakes, the cutout scenes and stuff like that. How they made the movie. It's decent. But overall, out of five stars... I give this about a three and a half. That's a pretty good um, consensus on that. About a three and a half. Now on to more gaming news. Being that Sea of Thieves is about to drop, Xbox tries to break the World Cannonball record set in a Sea of Thieves event. And yes, they're in the Guinness Book of World Records for shooting a man out of a cannon like you can in a game the furthest it has ever been done. 
I guess that's a feat for Microsoft. <laughs> now, State of Decay Collection Edition is missing something. The goddamn game. But, another game came out and did the same thing. Call of Duty. Um, Call of Duty, that's terrible. <laughs> Battlefield 1 did the same thing. For those people that just wanted to buy the simple version of the game and still had a chance to get the collection edition items. Now, this comes with a mask. A steel book, a finger that's shaped like a thumb in a thumb drive. No pun intended. Matter of fact, that was intended. A badge and a brain from a zombie. Look forward to that. Now, what's good about this is you could buy the standard edition for $29.99 and still get the collector's edition like your boy Lamitis is. But I got Game Pass, so I'm just going to spend the $69.99 to get this edition or if you want to get the $49.99 version plus this it basically rounds out to be around 110 so it's still around the average price if it came with the game but i think i think i like that they are separating this so you don't have to rush out there and force yourself into doing i guess forcing you to buy the game with all the content and everything else so i think this is a pretty solid idea because it worked for battlefield plus on amazon battlefield one characters dropped in price and he was able to get it cheaper so maybe they'll do the same thing with this version now in the more gaming news i try to tell everybody that the size of microsoft booth at e3 didn't make a difference now you're saying, Lemon, what have they done? What they have done is they have put a floor in the Los Angeles Convention Center smaller than the other two giants, which took up all the damn space. But guess what? They're using their own Microsoft Theater a couple of blocks down the street. This means that the E3 press conference briefings for the Xbox Fan Fest and all its hands-on demos and stations will be located at the Microsoft Theater, which will be taking over. Now, what's crazy is this place is its own convention place in itself. So, technically, their space is larger than the other two. They will have the biggest press conference. And once again, they're going on Sunday, March 10th. Excuse me. June 10th. They will be going. And... They don't got to worry about sharing space because they own a building. They made their own. So you people out there that was crying about, oh, Microsoft in their space. What are they doing? They don't have nothing to show. Uh-oh. It looks like somebody's been wrong. Listening to these other guys ridicule them. They don't know quite what they're talking about. I told you, you have to wait and get an official plan set from the big three. And now that we have it, it looks like Microsoft will be bringing the biggest show available at E3. Stand up, people. <laughs> Tell me why you mad. <laughs> Stop jumping the gun on this information my fellow youtubers because you make yourself look like a bunghole at the end of the day now that's all the news i have for you today today's episode was quite long because i ain't been around in a couple days birthday boy i'll be back tomorrow and i'll be streaming tonight facts and i'm out Cheers.